mystery. And I don't like mysteries. Give me a bellyache and I got a beauty right now. Hello, hello, hello. So this is our game preview of Control. <clears throat> We're going to play this for about an hour. And then we will be done. Now, I don't expect this will be that hard of a game to pick up and get into. However, games are getting to where they require more and more time, such as for uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I, I had to spend more time with that just to feel like I had gotten us through the first little stage of the game. So we'll see how this goes. Some games are, you know, have more a longer intro than others. Um, I think depending on how complicated you make your game, <laughs> that kind of determines how much time you need. Um, you know, in some games you can just kind of jump in and play. Alright, so we're going to A to start. We're going to keep our profile. That's fine. Can I do a screenshot of that? There we go. Well, guess what's going to be our thumbnail? There you go. <laughs> Let me get one more just to be safe. There we go. Alright, let's start the game. Let's see what we get. Okay, years ago the Bureau abandoned... The investigation sector is time to learn why. So view in store. Okay. View in. This is advertising. Okay, let's move on. Options and credits. Okay, so credits are fine, but let's look at the options. I like the way we're getting more and more options nowadays. Tutorials are turned on. Controller. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Invert horizontal aim. No, please do not. Vertical, yes, please invert that. Vibration strength, you could even turn that off. Swap left and right, that could be handy, but no. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave these things on. I don't know if I'm going to like them, but I'm going to leave them on. Sprint mode, it's a toggle. Why wouldn't it be a toggle on-off? I'm going to make it a toggle on-off. Toggle shield. When enabled, shield ability is activated and deactivated by tapping the input. Okay, let's toggle it. Launch. Shield ability is activated and deactivated. I, I like toggles. Toggle aim. <laughs> oh, that. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, we're so used to not doing that, I'm not going to do that. Assist mode? What is assist mode? We're going to leave that off. Enhanced aim assist. Okay. This must be to help you if you're... And if I had trouble... Okay. Oh, and you could turn on immortality and one-hit kills. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I, I don't know what that would do for you. I like turning the toggles on, though. I, I prefer toggles most of the times. Controls. Jump. Levitate. Sprint. Shoot, that's good. Aim, yes. Melee, use, C switch weapon. Okay, that's fine. Shield, that's going to be a toggle now. That's going to be a toggle. Evade, toggle, crouch, grand. Okay, that's fine. I'm curious about this ground slam. That may be a mistake having those two functions on the same button. Sometimes, now like this might work. Okay, jump and levitate. And I don't know about that, but, um, but sometimes something like this can be a problem. They put the skip ahead in, in Cyberpunk on the B button with the crouch, and that means occasionally when I'm trying to crouch or uncrouch because it's a toggle, it skips ahead, and that's annoying. Um, you should try to use one button for one function at a time and not put a lot of multiple functions on one button okay just just letting you know all right so toggle map toggle side toggle walk i don't even know what what does that mean toggle side toggle map toggle walk okay i'm not going to change that audio no we're going to try we're going to try to start this game off with the music on but Depending on what happens, you know, we may have to change that. I have the most trouble with that. Mute, I, yes, thank you. Mute copyrighted music. The rest of it can play. That's fine. I love that. That every game should do that. Because the music companies are greedy 
junky people and I have over an hour in a video and have 12 seconds of part of a song it could be in the middle of the song and they'll try to take everything from my whole video my videos most of them don't even earn anything but a few bucks and you're gonna take my few dollars from me really I mean come on that's not even fair in that situation sorry that's my grump <laughs> all right so adjust brightness to the left icon is not visible you don't want the left icon to be visible at all there is no left okay there is a left icon okay until the left icon is not visible you know what? I'm going to put it back at the default. We're just going to go about 50, okay? Because I don't want to be blind. And if I make the middle icon barely visible, I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I need all the eyeball help I can get, man. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at 50. We're just going to put it back. I'm just going to leave it at 50. I don't think that's too dim. If it is, I'll, I'll brighten it up. But it'll be fine. Film grain. Do I want film grain and motion blur, really? I'll leave them on because that's the way they left it, but I'm not sure I do. Text language, that's good. I do want subtitles. Um, give me small ones, though. I want it to be, I don't want it to be obnoxious. Do I want a background? No. Speaker name and subtitles, yes. Sign, trans, no, I don't need that. Okay. So, ammo bar, low ammo, mission overlay. We're going to leave these things alone unless I have some reason to get rid of them. Okay. So, you have a lot of good options. Um, I think that I think these are a lot of good options. I'm going to back out. Hopefully, it saves those options. It doesn't say, you know, I, I assume it does. It looks like it did save my options. Okay, so that's cool. All right. So I like having all those options, even though I try to leave the game the way they developed it as much as possible. However, sometimes, you know, I just have to uh, tweak certain things. All right. Okay. All right. So enough of that. Return to the title screen. Do I want to go back to the title screen? No, that's just this. Okay. Well, I had to check it out. Sorry. So my options are still here, the invert zone. Okay. All right, so we're going to start us a new game. Let's see how this comes up. Oh, they're going to put me through this again? Okay. Why are you doing this again? Adjust the brightness until the left icon is not visible. The middle icon is barely visible. If I do that, that means this. That means like this. Hold on. They're making it sound like I should lower my vision to that. But if I do that, I'm going to regret that. If anything, I like things a little brighter. Matter of fact, now that now that I've done that, I'm going to leave it like that. I like things a little brighter. All right, we'll see how it goes. I, I think a lot of times if it's a little brighter, it records better. It looks better in the video. Having a really dark game is a mistake. That's right. I, I just remember that. I don't want a really dark game because if I record a really dark game, it's hard for you to see and enjoy. So, anyway, let's just start it. If I need to bring that down a touch, I will. But here we go. Dun dun dun. New bureau employees often get lost in shifting corridors of the oldest house. When in doubt, look for green direction signs and consult the map. Okay. I appreciate that. You know, I don't hear any sound. I'm disturbed by that. Probably it was copywritten music. Yep, I don't have any sound. Nothing is happening. It's just me. I'm sorry you're stuck with just my my voice. Listen to my voice. Oh, wait here. Are we getting some music? I hear a little something. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> this is going to be weirder than usual. Okay. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. Okay. Now don't mind me, I'm having coffee while we're watching this. 
I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. Mm -hmm. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's Looks like good. We live in a room, and there's a poster on the wall. Oh, we the stare bureau at it of and control. We think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. I didn't. I thought control was something the else. Something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank Redemption? A cell. And the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all transfixed. Ow. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. I was afraid he was going to turn around and scare me. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. Oh, they are talking about Shawshank Love Redemption. Good movie, by the way. Good book, too. Or maybe it's more of a sometimes, novella. But it's very good, something anyway. Something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Because that's the game. Hello? Why is Anyone no one here? here? Oh, move and adjust the camera. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so this is going to be a third-person game. I don't mind that. I've learned to deal with and, and manage and actually enjoy first- and third-person games. I can play both, and I enjoy both. Okay, A is jump. Hmm, the sprint doesn't work on a toggle like I wanted it to. Hold on. Okay, there it does. Okay. You have to have a long enough stretch to maintain it, I guess. Okay, that's alright. No? No sneaky? I thought this was a crouch. No? What's that? Is that anything? I may not have all my abilities at this point. There are all her abilities. Nonetheless, you know what I mean. Alright. Okay. So, I'm pretty satisfied with the movement. Feels good. I take it I'm supposed to come over here. I took something. Open collectibles. Um. Okay. What did I collect? I collected research. No. By correspondence. Woo. Prohibited items. Number two pencils. Why are number two pencils prohibited? <laughs> uh, iconic representations, rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. Okay, I don't know what y'all are talking about. Do we have any multi multimedia? No. Case files? We have no case files. Research records? We have none. Interesting. Missions? You do not have any missions. Okay, at... Oh, they put... Is that eyeballs next to mission briefings? I can't tell if it's zero zero or if it's eyeballs. You'll have to pardon me. It's early in the morning. Assets. I don't have any assets. She has no assets. That's kind of a mean thing to say. No, just kidding. All right. What's a security check? Security check? All right. Anyway. I think the camera and everything is fine. I think the movement is fine. Let's move on. Wait, there's a green light down there. Am I supposed to go through that door? <gasps> Ooh, 
doors just open for me. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Is this a haunted place? Come on, man. Don't scare me. I don't play scary games. Y'all may have noticed that. I really don't play scary games normally. Internal lockdown, building and lockdown, multiple containment breaches. Oh, is this like Resident Evil or something? I, that's not what I was expecting. Hmm. Well, let's go back up here. Oh, there's multiple green doors. Hold on, let's see these guys. I like, you know, I like to go look at things. Learn it while running to sprint. Oh, oh, did you see the picture came into better view once I stopped? He was fuzzy until then. There we go. So you can sprint. It is a, it says it's a toggle, but it's not exactly a toggle. You can toggle it on, but it turns off on its own. Hold on, let me, let me start that again. I did not do a good job. There we go. So you get a good sprint. I think at some point... Like when you have to stop, it just, it turns off. You don't have to turn it back on. Or you don't have to click it to turn it off. So Sprint, even though I turn toggle on, does not toggle. Y'all are scaring me with this open door business. Oh, let's see what we got. Seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Hmm. Are y'all trying to scare me? I tell you. What is this about? Loadout. I don't have any weapons. I don't have any good stuff. What was this? No? What did I just pick up? I guess I just looked at that. I guess I just looked at it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Be that way. Bureau expenditures. Oh, we can look at that. Let's take a look. See what they're spending their money on. Dirty dogs. See page five for five year comparison. Oh, I can zoom. Whoa, okay, that, that kind of shocked my eyeballs. Oh, wait, did I have unread? Is it all un. No, I've read everything. Okay. Alright. But see, now this, does this not, does this lighting not seem about right? I don't think I would be in a room where I couldn't see it all. If I was, I would flip the light switch on, which that should almost be an automatic thing when you walk into a room. There's the fire alarm. We could have some fun with that. Oh, a briefcase. And somebody was smoking. Oh, smoking, smoking, smoking. I am an old smoker myself. I know, I know. Oh my goodness, people me melt down nowadays over All smoking. I know, but I tell you. Compared to other things, I mean, it is bad for you, okay? It's not a healthy habit. You should not do it. Okay, I don't want to find anybody in the bathroom, but on the other hand... Oh, their toilet paper is gray. Why is their toilet paper gray? Well, that looks white there, but on the floor there, that looks gray. That doesn't look very appealing. I would not be wiping anything with that, I don't think. <laughs> All right, let's get out of the bathroom because that brings out a bad side of me. Let's move on. Who is this guy? This was the guy we saw earlier. Kind of looks like um, that actor Hurt, and I'm trying to remember. I think it's William Hurt. Kind of. Not, not, not totally. Not a bunch, but somewhat. All right, we've got stuff in the floor. People are slobs. Is there a door to get in here? Not not right here, there's not. Why am I wandering around this building? I feel like this is a dream sequence. You know what I mean? Alright, well we're just going to play through. I mean, at least we're playing. I know this is kind of like the tutorial of the game. That's a red door. With a flag. Is the flag behind the door? We'll find out in a minute. There's no way in there, is there? There's a flag. 
The flag is behind the glass, I suppose. Oh. Real to real. What year is this set in? Not only are they smoking in the building, which is great, but um <laughs> but they have real to real technology and this is an old these are old style things. What year is this? It's cool though. Oh, did those flowers pop in? Mm, a little bit, a little pop in on the flowers. Nothing, nothing terrible, but it did a little pop in. It's a little dark over here. This is why, oh, wait, we missed something. How did I miss that? I think using white to highlight something like that is not always the best. If the object is white and you highlight it in white, guess what? My old eyes miss it. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. Uh, all right. Oh, this is useful. A shark in his, although secure, permission to following pre basic protocol, shoot to kill. Good luck. <laughs> okay, somebody died. It sounds like they ma maybe managed to escape a shark attack, but still died. Um. All right. See, this is a darker area, but it's not too dark. Oh, open collectibles again. This is going to be a routine thing. I can see it now. More correspondence. R4 reports reminder. You know, we're looking for them TP reports. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form r4.e for extension from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. In other words, if you think you're exempt, you are not. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. Uh, any employee manual that has 75 sections, just, you, you don't want, just find another job. <laughs> If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head. Dr. Darling. Oh, Darling. Ms. Marshall. Don't arrest me, Marshall. Mr. Salvador, which is a country, so I can't really make fun of that too much. I don't know any Salvadorian jokes. And Mr. Kirklund. Should have been Kirklung, but okay. As needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best. Your admin team. Best what? Best. Well, okay, I won't go there. We'll just let that ride, but I was going to say things. But I, I try to avoid any bad language. YouTube gives me so much difficulty with music and other things and copyrights and. Oh. And, and if. And it's amazing the things that they will let me put up in a video one time, and then the next time, no, 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 you're showing cleavage. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm scared. What's that? Oh, it's a janitor. Oh, no, I am scared. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Do you see that? That picture? Is that? That looks like one of the Doug Dynasty guys with a hat, doesn't it? Why is she rubbing her shoulder? My shoulder hurts, but I'm an old man, and it, it does hurt sometimes. <laughs> okay, do we need to kill him? Excuse me. Hello? Oh, this is this is going to be scary, isn't it? There you are. What are you about the job? Oh. Janitor's assistant. Janitor's assistant. Interview. Go to the interview. Go that way Thanks. to the elevator. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm off. The janitor. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they don't. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound. Oh. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Oh, okay. Auntie the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Hey, don't be talking about people with no face. I know what you're thinking. 
If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. <laughs> she is not far off, you know. I'm already being creeped out. I didn't know this was going to be this type of a game. They're setting a very creepy tone. But relatively speaking, that went really well. He was not the horror creature I thought he would be. Where's the elevator? Is that the elevator? Hey, there's that. Did we? This is not the same. That's the elevator. Hold on, what's over here? You know I have to explore it. It probably means trouble, but I have to... Oh, it's just a bathroom. Is this the same bathroom? Okay. Guys, you could have created a different bathroom. It did not need to be the exact same bathroom. Matter of fact, this whole... Wait, this is the exact same place. Oh. I just took some weird loop. What? Okay, this is some kind of strange dream sequence, isn't it? Alright, alright. And I'm going to be a janitor's assistant. So I will work for the janitor. Okay. The cell and the poster. Yeah, I was really. I 11 years old the first time I saw it behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Oh, okay, so here's our intro, our movie-style intro. You know, I thought this game was more of an action game and less of a creepy game. I remember the days when you could actually smoke in your office at your desk. And yes, I remember that fondly. Yes, you can think what you want, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> you know, this is this is what happens when you get old. When you get old, you look back and you think, you know, I can remember when I could do that. <laughs> Our freedoms are not what they used to be, let me tell you. Dun, dun, dun. Can we get a snapshot of that? Oh, it's too late. I missed it. Okay, that's all right. We'll just let it open then. Proceed deeper Could into you the bureau. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Oh. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Oh. Actually, I did not know that was on your mind at all. Why can I not move my camera? Thank you. I think because I was in there, it wouldn't let me move the camera very much. That guy is a popular guy. Hey, hey, I want some food. It's pistachios, pretzels, protein, and fibers. Um, what is that at the top? Crackers, trail mix, hot and spicy something. <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry, I do get caught up in the silliness sometimes. Y'all, y'all should be, y'all should know that by now, though. Anyway, I'm having some fun with this in a stupid way. I hope the game is actually good. Hello? Did I not do that correctly? Um, no, you cannot go in. Oh, I have to go in back here. Oh yeah, they're under lockdown, and the janitor is in control of the building. Okay, well, you know. Sometimes, people are not what they seem to be. I have known some very smart people that worked at what we would consider, um, what do you call it, um, uh, you know, blue collar um, physical jobs, but I have known some very smart people that do that, that have done that. Wait, welcome to the track. Oh yeah, track that. That's my mission. Okay, collectibles. What do we got here? Um, Okay, wait just a minute, okay, um... While pinning any notifications of death, 
related to the Willow AWE or all, please adhere to the following guidelines, words and phrases to use in the service of his or her country. They died in the service of their country. We regret that they died in the service of their country. We are proud and regret that they died in the service of their country, and they will be remembered for dying in the service of their country, though we regret it and we're proud of them. However, they did not die in Alaska. They were not running with scissors. We did not see any blood loss, and we are not sorry. Okay, there we go. I, I don't... Whoa. Did that move? Did I bump that? Oh, you can... Oh, I did not know that was a possibility. Look at this guy. Economy. He looks like the guy that breaks into your house and takes all your stuff. I don't know. Economy? I don't know. Okay. In that picture. That that guy may be a perfectly nice, wonderful guy in real life, but... Hmm, no luck. Did I knock stuff around so bad that it's still falling? Why do I not have a flashlight? Oh, there's that guy. Now he's making a different face. Okay, I didn't see anything there. Oh, there's something. Hey, you may or may not be familiar with these old systems of sending messages. They used to do this in big, big office buildings. It's pneumatic tubes. It's, it's very cool in its own way. It's an old system. Some big old department stores used to use that, too. Um, okay, that's, yeah, I know. See, I'm old, and this is something from years and years ago and you don't see it anymore because we have better stuff nowadays honestly email and all that I admit it's you know you know definitely better not complaining oh what happened did I knock something off y'all are creeping me out man okay so what do we got here Do not disturb. More correspondence. Okay. Do not... Okay. Do not disturb. Trench. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Oh, that's his name. Is Trench. Okay. Okay. Well. I have to try this one more time. It, it really bothers me that I can't get in here. <laughs> it's not going to let me in okay either I did not find something I was supposed to find or I just can't go in there yet la la okay is there anything over there that's red and locked alright we're going in Dun, dun, dun. Shit. Oh, he's dead. Shit, shit, shit. Director's office, toggle the map. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Oh, we're in the director's... Oh, we have a map. That's interesting. I hope this will prove to be useful in the future. Oh, it's a toggle. I like toggles on the map. That's cool. I'm, I'm good with that. See, I can toggle. Toggle. Woo. Toggles are nice, people. Toggles are nice. Are we in a dream? Do we really want to pick up this guy's gun that, that he probably killed himself with? We hope he killed himself and nobody else did it. <sighs> okay, I guess we're going to pick it up. I don't Something's feel... outside. What? Oh, it was coming here a mistake. What do you mean, something's outside? Okay, I, you notice I grabbed a gun when she says that. <laughs> And here goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions oh. upon the perceived reality. Now, oh. 
The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Hmm, this is your ritual challenge. You must choose. Oh, I hate this place. What? Where am I? Uh, that was my question. Where are we? And does she have a weapon now? Are we load out? Okay, no, they're not giving me a weapon. What collectibles do we have now? Multimedia? Oh, talking about objects of power. Oh, let's see what this is. Casper objects Darling. Hello, Darling. Can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events. Intrusions oh. upon the perceived reality. I kind of like this. This is kind of fun. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Okay. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Is that supposed to be the cosmic cube? It looks like a charcoal. In the Bureau's DNA, a key component <laughs> I'm just saying. Program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well. But, thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. <laughs> okay, I kind of, I kind of like that. That's a little bit of a Fallout type of thing, ain't it? Kind of fun. I'm just silly enough to enjoy that. Okay, uh, where are we? This looks like that one place in Harry Potter, kinda. Or maybe, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, we'll move on. What? Oh, bubblegum Polaroid. Do I have to jump? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I barely made that jump. That was not a good jump. Can we get up here? Oh, she can. Good girl. She's nimble. Oh, okay. What about that? Can we do a sprint jump? That would be a good question. Oh, she can do a sprint jump. She's good. Um. Melee? I don't want to do melee. I want to shoot it. I don't even know what is that thing. <laughs> I don't want to do melee. Oh, there's a gun. Good. This is what I play games for, to shoot things. Because <laughs> I don't really shoot the much in real guy. life. Because I really don't want to kill anything in real life. Oh! Choose to be chosen. Okay. That's a cool looking gun. Yes, I okay. know. Xbox Game Pass. Oh, Thank you for the stuff. Fire the weapon. Is there anything to shoot at? Oh, goody. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you mean low ammo? Oh, did it just refill itself? Oh, it regenerates ammo when not in use. Is there anything else to aim at? I know I killed both. Look at that weapon. Do you see that? It's wiggling. Are we sure this is not a dream sequence? I think this is some kind of weird dream sequence. But it's a good tutorial nonetheless. Though I get the feeling that a lot of this is pretty basic, which is good. I like, you know what it is? I like a game that has simple controls, but interests you with its story and other stuff. Oh, that was a that was a cross shot. Oh, I don't have to hit reload. It regenerates. 
Okay, let's get away from those guys, because I don't trust them, and I know they're coming closer. Da 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 at least you don't have to hit X to reload all the time. I do that a lot in these games. Is he trying to be sneaky? You know, it just dawned on me. This is a Halo. I don't have any radar, so I don't know. Are we picking up these blue things, or is that just... Hey, is he shooting at me? That's not fair. You're not supposed to shoot at me. I'm supposed to shoot at you. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore. Okay. So, I just walk through that to restore my health. But it doesn't appear to work. Is it because my health did not go low? Or do I have to stand here and do this? You, we, will... Oh, the board appoints you. Congratulations, Director. Oh. Something was coming. So is he the Director? I guess he was the Director. Maybe she's the Director now. Duty is Director. Keep the Bureau safe. Keep the Bureau safe. So you killed yourself to keep the Bureau safe? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. It seems to be. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. I'm happy to be here? Well, this is not... It's quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? I don't know. You tell me if it's safe. Is this a vault? Okay, this does not look safe to me. You can't let this happen. Uh oh. You can't let this happen. 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 Okay. You stopped it. <laughs> you. Thank you. That was. Horror. Oh. Get the fuck away! Okay, I still feel like this is some kind of weird, bad dream. Oh, is that the health? Or is that undefined reading? Alright, so where am I going? I guess the map would be appropriate. Um... That makes it look like I should go over there to the right, possibly. I'll toggle the map off. Okay, let's go up this way for a minute. I don't think I can go this way. No, I can't. And you can't go that way, and I've been in there. There wasn't anything really to see in there.
Atlas. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. In most games, I would say follow the bad guys. I'm not exactly sure where the bad guys are here. So the hotline is not in his office. Executive Affairs, Central Executive. It's like we're supposed to get there somehow. But I don't know how. Maybe that red was there already. Maybe that's not a flag. I saw him. Hold on. Just hold on. I don't trust all this stuff. <laughs> and all these people floating in the sky. And I thought I saw a guy go this way, honestly. We have a grip. Is this a good thing? A grip. Grip is reliable. Grip is equipped. Okay. Is that a good thing? Is that a, okay? It says it's equipped. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I admit I don't know. What is this? Materials. You do not have a clearance level. Okay. Collectibles. Okay, so let's see. We got research and records. His guard. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Director Trench. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Service weapon. When found, the object seeking the role of, the object will determine whether, if rejected, the applicant is terminated. Oh. Inside the oldest house, how oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. 
Oh, they think it's taken many forms throughout history. Mjolnir, Excalibur. Okay, all weapons that. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. That's kind of fun. Alright, that's cool. Uh, executive meeting minutes, rising costs, update on mold eradication, upcoming annual salary review. I'm always interested in getting a little more, you know, a little more money. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's keep going. Okay, so I did not explore all this area, and I don't know why these people are floating in the air. I find I find that very concerning. And I keep hearing these voices that I don't like, and I find to be creepy. <laughs> How many times have I said I do not play horror games? This is like a creepy, scary game. And now with those people floating around, that's going to be strange for me. And, and bothersome. I don't know, I feel like these people are being abused in some manner. Oh, wait. Weren't we here one time before? Maybe not. Oh, real to real. Here we go. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank <laughs> you for your attention. Oh, I don't think this is a good idea at all. Is that her? I think that's her. That is her, I think. The real her, the picture looks better than the cartoon her. That's okay though. These things happen. I'm I'm okay with that. It's like the girl that's uh, they use for um. Oh, what's this? It's a Star Wars. It's the Star Wars game, uh, Battlefront Two. The girl they use for the campaign. She is, uh, she's really very good looking, better than the, uh, better than the character in the game. Totally. And the character in the game is not bad. I just mean that in real life, that girl is really a lot, a lot prettier. I, I have no such opinion on guys, sorry. That would require me to be different than what I am. Okay, so. Multimedia. Okay, that was the recording. Reminder, yeah. if you experience an unanticipated building shift... <laughs> All right, we don't have to hear that. That's okay. Um, correspondence. What, what are we... Dinner reservations. All right. At seven. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready. Remember, she's turning 46. You have to remind someone how old their, their wife is. That's a shame. All right. So I'm not sure where I should be going. Oh. Uh. Is this a good idea? Watch your step. Can you save this game? No, it doesn't autosave. Oh, it has a photo mode, though. Interesting. What does that look like? Oh, this looks kind of like the one in Cyberpunk. You can toggle the UI, you can get a picture the way you want, I guess. I find it very creepy that these people are floating in the sky. Gives you a little film grain, if you notice that. Oh, there we go. That's, that's a good picture. There. Well, okay. Oh, you have to hold it down, not just a tap. Okay, well that was interesting. 
Oh, and it didn't break the game. Nice. For a minute, I was frozen and I thought it had broken the game. Whoa. On the one hand, this is an interesting game. On the other hand, it's kind of a creepy game. <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling you, it's kind of creepy. Let's see, how do I look at that? I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Yeah, hold on. Alright, so what's our assets? We have... I do not have a clearance level for these. Hmm. So I can't do anything with those. Correspondence. Oh, this is Marshall. We checked out the suspected. In Duluth, was it anything just like the house fire? We need to find a better way to support the fake ones from the real ones. Hmm, okay. To Marshall from Keenan. So who's our girl? Her picture was in that other building, that other office. I don't know, I heard that sudden chunk and I thought something was up. Where was her picture again? Let's go back to that office for a minute. It doesn't have her name on it though, does it? Hmm. Well, I had hoped her name would be here. I don't know who I'm playing, honestly. I've forgotten if we were ever given a name for her. And I'm not sure we were. All right. Oh, the shelter closed. That was the loud noise I heard. Let's see what's up this way. Oh, it's a red room. Red room. Red room. Central executive. Is this a good thing? I don't know. A hissing sound that tried to evade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. These poor people, I just don't understand. More correspondence. So this is kind of a mystery creepy thing. I, I don't know if this is an alien thing that's going on here. Um, how to handle unscheduled visitors. Oh, okay, okay, wait. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and our people. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem, hmm, maybe suspicious, they escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If the responses are within acceptable range of deviance, see the scoring sheet. Then, I guess, I guess throw them out or send them out. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Okay. Urban Legends. Alright, let's see what this is. At least they let me read all this without getting too, you know, crazy. Believed to be the creation of altered materials. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They're paranormal realities waiting to happen. Well, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Nobody popped out to shoot at me, did they? Not yet, anyway. Hmm, I wonder if that's a radio. Or some such. Alright, I guess we have to go this way. Where am I going? You can't see very well. Am I supposed to jump? Dodging, oh, dodging, 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 dodging. Too many shots missing. There is somebody else here. I thought there was. I mean. a lot better. Holy shit! You did it! We did it! Hello? Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the Bureau? Are you still sane? Huh? You get outfits. What's our outfit choices? Civilian? She doesn't have any other outfit choice. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Who is speaking to us? Is it safe to come out? Are they here? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. Oh, cool. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! Yep, she's the new director. Hmm. Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force this piss that works 
Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're hey, in that's not a bad name. Room. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown, before you became the new director? But how? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... Okay. I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hits. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. Okay. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Yes, um... I wonder if that's her brother that she's talking to, that... Well... Did it work, or is she dead? Oh. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Oh. Well, that's sad. And unfortunate, too. So what do we got here? We got personal mods. What are personal mods? What is this? Energy, recovery, speed, improved. Let's go ahead and use that. We don't have anything else there anyway. Um, what's what's here? Is there something else here? Or was that it? Hold on a second. Sorry. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Hey, y'all just wait for me. I'm the director here. Shut up. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm being a butt. But come on. They can wait a minute. Let me figure out what I'm doing. Let's see. His agent? Discard. Maintain their human appearance. They have no aggressive behavior. When attack, they disappear. Hmm. Okay, so we don't know much about them. Whereas the his guards. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, everything looks. Yeah, hold on. Well, she is over there. I guess we could go that way. That is the boardroom. Is there anybody else we could help, though? What's in there? Hey, hey, open that door. I want to see what's in there. That looks like something I would want. Let's go in here. Did I get a chance to explore this? I know they. 
popped in and out. Is there anything in here? Supply storage. Ah, oh, wait. There's always something. Which is good. They give you a reason to look around everywhere. That's nice. Control points. Okay, control points. I still don't get it. What am I missing? Zero two. Am I missing something here? No. That's a weapon form, a weapon mod. Do I have any others? No. Alright, whatever. I don't know what it's pointing me to there. Alright. I'm not sure if I want the film grain. Let's take a look at our settings for a minute. I want to see if I eliminate the film grain, how that's going to look. Well, hmm. It didn't make a huge difference, did it? I'm not sure that's even an improvement. Let's turn that back on and see. Did that look good at all, or did it just look blah? I'm not sure I can tell much difference. I turn it off and on maybe I have to reload the game. Maybe. Maybe I'll try that another time. Alright, let's talk to both. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. Director Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary. <laughs> my hometown is Ordinary. Oh, Bureau this is too much. That was good. Thing. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. Hmm. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers, I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Oh, in other words, we're going to have to kill a bunch of those. They call me the director. Things. That's not me. She's the director. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? Hmm. I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know 
it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Huh, okay. We don't know what the hiss is. I'm imagining the hiss is some sort of alien thing. But what kind of alien thing, I don't know. The hotline is ringing. Can we not answer the hotline? This looks like the hotline from Batman. Do you remember the old Batman series in the 60s? He had the red hotline phone. I know this is all new to you, so <laughs> don't hesitate to ask me anything you want. I know, I know. No I always messages. remember. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. Is there anything the else to talk to her about? In the communications department. Origin of the, yeah, let's hear about this. Where did this. the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Okay. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's find out a little bit more. This trench guy. I uh -huh. keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Okay, so let's find out more. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> Got it. Thanks. I keep expecting Pope's mouth to stretch out into like a joker grin or something. Something about her face. It just seems like that's what she would do. All right, one more time. So HRA stop you from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I, mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. And each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay. All right. Well, my time is up. Thanks, Emily. I'm and, sure I'll have more questions. You know, I think, I think even Just though this is know. a little creepy... 
Um, I think overall I will probably be playing this game some more in the future. But overall I would say this is a good game. The controls are simple enough to play and enjoy. The story is kind of interesting. It's got some little what fallout nuances with the little videos and recordings and stuff. It's kind of fun, you know, kind of some fun stuff. Um, so I kind of like it. it. I know that, uh, well, actually, I don't know much about it. I only ever saw maybe one review and it didn't make any sense to me since I had never played the game and hadn't really heard about the game a lot. But it's in Game Pass right now. And it seems like it's a good, fun game just from this beginning, this initial start. So we'll be playing this some more in the future. Um, I didn't, I didn't run into anything that was really super negative, other than that it's creepy. <laughs> and I'm not a big fan of creepy, but, um, but being creepy, it's not really being horror or horrible, but it is being creepy. So, all right, all right. So anyway, if you're interested, you know, you should try to. Uh, play this on Game Pass if you want to, and uh, that sort of thing. The controls, the controls are good, and you can come in and, uh, you know, in the options, you can change a lot of different things, and um, I really like the fact that they allowed me to turn off the copyright music. That makes my job a lot easier. And I think the interface is good, and I like having the subtitles and the crosshair, but you can turn all those things off. It's nice to have options that allow you to do what you want. So, and I like the toggles, and I guess the aim assist and stuff is good. I didn't feel like it was too much, but I felt like it was working pretty good, and, and I wasn't having any real trouble with it. So, yeah. All right. So anyway, this has been Control. It's been uh, pretty fun. And the story seems interesting. So, oh, I didn't go into photo mode. Maybe I should go into photo mode and try that again. Let's do photo mode. And let's toggle the UI. I'm just going to play around with this. I just want to get a picture of these two. I think this will be a better picture. There we go. All right. So anyway, it does have a little photo mode, which is nice. And I couldn't tell much difference in that film grain business, so I don't know. I'll probably just leave it on. This is the way they intended the uh, game to look anyway. And it does. It has a cool look. It has its own cool atmosphere. A little creepy, but cool. So, <laughs> so I'm going to continue that creepy, but cool thing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later. You violated the law!